<laughs> Welcome back to more combat. Okay. That is so annoying. That's beautiful. Hello, you ladies and gents, this is Scorpion here. I am just waking up, and my brother and my boys is awake. Hey, Shirley, hey, Stumpy. <laughs> it's 6.46, 6.47 in the morning. So, right now, it is really good. I just got my coffee and my breakfast is cooking right now. I had a really, really good night filming the possums and literally both babies, both older babies came out again and shone off. Mama and Papa went up the tree and did not show for the whole film. But the two older babies uh, show themselves and yeah, it's one of those times. <sighs> so right now I gotta watch Camp Ken. Not Markiplier, fuck. <laughs> My anger control, when I press X twice to pause it, it keeps playing. I don't know why. Yeah. So, while well, I wait for my breakfast, drinking my coffee, and drinking it. <sighs> Let me say that again. Uh, let me drink my coffee and watch YouTube while I wait for my breakfast, and see you guys at about 7.30. But go have a look at this film. It is really fun. And all the possums shown again. It is very good. I had my voice recorded with me and I caught the dominant males over to the park on my right and literally they were like sounding like Tasmanian devils but on the end, uh, on the start of the possum film um, the dancing group was on yeah they're really noisy stomping what the fuck um it, it just started about eight o'clock yeah the dancing group it started about seven but i had to drive my little brother back to his place and drop him off and come back, start filming about 7.40, 8 o'clock. And the dance group is stomping, you have to fucking listen to it. Sounds like a whole herd of elephants. Far out. So go have a look at this possum film, and I'll see you guys about 7.30, 7.40 to start the day really good. Alright ladies and gents, I just got back and it's 8.07 in the afternoon and I'm just about to set, set my camera so at the front, I'll see you guys over there and I'll see you guys watching the possums Alright, I'm at the front and right now I can't see any possums yet but I'm in the right spot and that's the right spot I need to do so right now, in the camera and with my own eyes, there's nothing. But later tonight, you can actually hear the dance group across the road from me. They are doing loud stomping and stuff. So right now, it's really good to watch the possums from here. Who the hell is it? Oh. <laughs> 
I'm e-dropping them as well. Oh, great. <laughs> so right now is a really good time to watch them. And watch the possums, not the people. Because right now is really good. Hopefully all five of them will be coming out. Yeah, there's a bird on top of the top branch up above me. And it's one of the minor birds. The minor bird is a really annoying bird that I, well, I hate. Because they are fucking noisy, excuse about French, but yeah. So right now, I am just waiting here patiently. As I am watching when the possums come out. It is going to be absolutely a good night. So right now it is about 8 minutes, well 11 minutes past 8 in the afternoon. And it's still not dark. It's daylight saving so it's still like that. There is people coming out right now so it's got to be a little bit disturbing. They are fucking noisy. So right now, you can actually hear the galahs, you can hear the Major Mitchells, and you can actually hear the flapping of the wings of the minor bird that went up above me and catch a flying ants. And that's what it does to annoy the hell out of me. So, tonight's the night, and I love it. So right now, I'm playing music, really. It's supposed to be a quiet night for me. Oh well. Luckily, there's nothing I can do. Just sit here and wait for the possums to come out. So, this is going to be the goodest night. This is the great night I ever wanted. So, yeah. So I just came back from my little brother's about 20 minutes ago, dropping him off at home. And right now you can actually see the torts across from me is turning on, so it's starting to get dark. So that is really good. I picked this perfect spot to watch the possums as they are waking up. So. Hopefully, all the possums come out, so. Well, I can hear the baby possums. <laughs> Creepy. I can hear them screeching and stuff. Oh, I can see their little eyes. They are coming out right now, so. I know, just watch them. And hopefully, they come out. Oh, 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 I saw something. One's climbing. I saw movement. This is absolutely fucking awesome. Oh, there we go. There's a little eye right there. Okay. This is... Yeah, there's movement, there's movement. There we go. There they are. That's one of the young ones. Okay. One of the young ones are out. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. There's movement on the top branch. So there's not just one out, there's about two or three out. On the top branch. So hopefully I catch all of them at, at once tonight again. This is good. So that must be, ah, oh, that's Mama. 
Is it? Okay. It is Mama. Mama Possum. That is okay. So, great start. Great start. So, it's only Mama Possum right now. I just whistled. Hopefully, some eyes shine. Oh, wait. She is cleaning. Don't know what the fuck was that behind me. I just heard some screeching and stuff. So, we don't have just the five possums in this tree. We have the two miles behind me, I just heard. Don't know where, but they are fucking close. So, Mama, Mama and Baby's right there. Although it's Mama and Papa mating. And we got one up there somewhere. Try and find it. I uh, can't see it. Yeah, that's Mama and Papa. They are mating. I thought it was a baby or what she was. Is That is Mama. Well, I'm getting eaten by fucking mosquitoes right now. So, not that bad. So, right now it is nice and quiet. I oh, just spit, spit a mosquito out of my mouth. I just breathed it in and it went on my tongue and it just did not taste nice. Oh, look at that. Eyes <laughs> shine and all. Absolutely fucking beautiful. So, this is going to be a good night. I think it's only Mama I can see tonight. Nothing else. But I've seen a baby possum up there somewhere, but she's saying Mama tonight. I think Papa went somewhere else. Well, that is normal. I'm getting eaten fucking by fucking mosquitoes. You can actually see. I can hear the males. So, that is Mama right there. And right now is absolutely perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Baby as well. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's another eye shine right there. Oh, this is fucking perfect. It's cool. All the possums are coming out again. So, yeah, Mama's going up. There's an eye shine. There's her. One's just there. Two. <laughs> Lost mama. But that is baby right there. Tiny, tiny head. There's another one right there. Both babies. Cool. Man, they this dance group next to me is really a fucking annoying. There's another one. Oh wait, that's Papa. There's the fucking music from next door neighbor. That's music on a bike. Oh great. I scared Papa Possum away. 
Oh, what else? Do I got the two babies in front of me? The two eye shines. So, I only got the two babies here. So, that is enough to do for tonight. But, Mummy and Papa Possum went upstairs, like on top of the top branches on the gum tree. So, I won't see them tonight. And I won't see them at all because the music disturbance from the neighbors. <coughs> Freaking hell, mosquitoes everywhere. I keep breathing them in on my tongue. Yeah. They don't taste very really nice. So, yeah, that is really good. Just keep on the pot, babies. Well, it looks like it's only the babies that I can see tonight. And one of them is looking at me. It's just right in front of me. Well, I can see with my own eyes. He, oh, one of the babies went up. All the way inside the nest. This one's looking at me. Hello. Maybe you can see the infrared light. Yeah, what it can see, but yeah, this is good. Nature is so fucking beautiful right now. Yeah, that one's in the tree, and just behind the leaves next to the little one. Oh well, that that is really good. So right now, I got I got a whole. A lot of film I can do. <laughs> this is cool. Oh well. Oh, don't go back in. Oh fuck. Come on. Don't go back in. Don't be shy. <sighs> it's such a bugger when. <sighs> no. It's coming back out. The, the other one's coming out. Oh, wow. Hello. Maybe they were switching places. Look at this. Scratching in front of me. Whoa, looking. <laughs> that is cool. That is good. Hello. Can you see me? Hey. <laughs> Oh, well, this is absolutely beautiful. Seeing the possums tonight is much more better than watching TV. This one doesn't see me, but it can sense the green infrared light on my camera. I don't have infrared. I've got infrared that I can actually see. So... Yeah, you can actually see my hand that went in front of the camera. That was my hand, so sorry about that. But you can actually see the babies. But right now, you can actually hear the other males across the park having a fight. Oh, there's the second baby. So, Mama and Papa went up. I can't see them anymore, but... Two babies, I can actually see quite perfect right in one spot. That is quite good. So, yeah, this is some beautiful night for possum spotting. And right now, this is it for me. Just having happiness. Yeah, both both adult babies is in front of me right now, but the mama and papa and the tiniest one is on top of the 
top of the gum tree but I can't see them so yeah this is absolutely freaking beautiful seeing the two uh, seeing all five of them climbing and playing I can actually hear one of the dominant males but I don't think these babies are being threatened by them yet. You can actually see both of them scratching. Look at this. This is some kind of care what I am seeing. So this is good. Sorry about my hand earlier. I was testing how you can see. It's the green light in front of it. Look at this. Both bigger babies. The adults, like the mama and papa's up top of the gum tree, but these two young ones are still in front of me. And I don't mind. If they are in front of me, I don't mind filming them. And there's fucking mosquitoes everywhere where I am feeling is they are biting and I hate biting me. Oh well. The two young ones? Beautiful. Yeah, I think this is a quiet night where I want. So if I was in the wilderness, I see a lot of nature like kangaroos and Koalas, dingoes, gawannas, wild bear dragons, everything in the wild. But these possums, they are the first thing I see in my own eyes and night vision. So this is quite nice what I feel is out here with nature. As I am, it's really good. So, yeah. So right now, that's it. The two babies are out here already. So I'll let you guys watch them.
<sighs> oh well. That was pretty good. I just had a shower. Just getting relaxed for tonight. So yeah, tonight was absolutely special. And I quite enjoyed it. So right now I'm just there we go. Yeah, tonight was special and I actually quite enjoyed tonight is the possums. And right now I got my TV up around so I can watch something. And let me pick you guys up. I just need to turn off and uh, turn down the sound. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Till then, tonight was absolutely fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Till then, I'll see you guys then. All right, ladies and gents, it is time to um feed the boys. Yes, and Chevy and Stumpy likes their milly worms. I gotta close my laptop so I can push on the corner. Put this that right there. See, both of them is uh, like milly worms. Yeah, after they that had the fruit. <laughs> It is good to have so I get what they want anyway because it's hot they digest the food faster so yeah but right now let's move the bush sidewards here big boy You're my oldest boy. Hey, you hungry? You hungry? You yeah. you want a million worms? I wish I had my camera stand up. Oh, I forgot to put it up anyway. So let's get the first one to Chevy. Chevy. Hey, you want it? You want? <laughs> Zumpy. Zumpy. <laughs> I'm trying to get the worms, silly. <laughs> hey, here we go. That's my boy. Yeah, both of them is hungry. You can actually see them close up. Look at this. St Chevy's eyes paranoid like, Here you gave me something yummy. Give me more. <laughs> He's like paranoid. What the fuck? Alright. Grab another one. Give it a zombie. Yeah, Snappy size is not paranoid. She's naturally finding these in the wild. But Chevy, he's my wild boy. And he's always that. <laughs> Grab him gently on the tweezers, that's good. Just give them an equally amount. Good boy. After Chevy and Stumpy gets a big enclosure, both of them's gonna have females each. So they can have their own little ones. She I think Chevy's into it now. Stumpy, here you go. Good, girl, uh, good boy. I have to call you a boy all the time now. Most of the time I keep calling you a girl. I know that was a big mistake. Hey? hey that's my big boy. Here you go, Stumpy. Here you go, Hey, hey. 
Come on. Look at how big is he. You can pat him on the chest. You can pat him on the back. He's time. Stumpy, he's time. Just naturally grab it out of the toys as gently. Good boy. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Good boy. I have to dig some more. There's a whole lot of fat ones like this. Stumpy. Good boy. Good boy. That's my man. And a fat one for Chevy. Chevy, you had to work for baby boy. Just stop being a fat little fella, come on. You wanna chase it? Come on, you want to chase it, come on. Now you want to chase it, come on. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Both of them is infoastic about it. That's my boy. That's my boy, Stumpy. <laughs> All the time I know I've been calling you a girl by accident. But no, you're not a girl. You're actually a boy. I know you're hungry. There you go. Now that's the second one for you. Chevy needs the second one. Yeah, both of them is totally different colors. But both of them is both inlands. But totally different. Stumpy is a dark colored male with spikes on his back and everywhere else. Chevy's a golden boy and he doesn't have spikes on his back but he's got spikes on the side. I know Stump, I know. Hey. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, you want to chase it? You want to chase it? Come on, stop being a lazy boy, come on. Don't fight you two, come on. You two are brothers. You two naturally be brothers, okay? And I used to from a different clutch. But both of you need to be brothers, eh? I'm trying to find more mealy ones. Stumpy. Down here. <laughs> He's okay uh, chomping on a little bit of substrate. Good boy. Good boy. Shabby. That's the boy. He's like, no, I'm gonna eat this away. What the hell are you spinning out for? <laughs> oh, Stumpy and Chevy. My two wonderful boys are near the girlfriend soon. So, right now. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. You want to chase? You want to chase? You want to chase? Come on, you want to try to it? <laughs> yeah, they need a big enclosure to chase things around. Hey, big boy. Here you go. There you go, my old boy. Come on.
And actually they do this every day. And every day only. So it is really good happiness right there. So just resting the camera on my hand and on the side of the tank where the doors are. That's my boy. Shabby, you ready for yours? He's squinting at me, isn't he? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Why do you spit it out, you fool? You spit it out, didn't you? There we go. He's got it. Good boy. Both of them is totally different characters. Stumpy is one of the most. Both of them is tamed. When I first got Stumpy he was wild raised. Now he's. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Calm down. Good boy. He only wants some food. That's all. Here. What? It's on the, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby boy. <laughs> You're only two years old. I know. He's still learning the ropes. I know. Chevy. Huh? It's next to you. It's under you, baby boy. <laughs> It's right, it's right under here. <laughs> Sorry. Good, good. No. Good. Right there. Hey. These two are my boys. Both handsome little fellas. I thought Stumpy was a girl, but no. If you, if you can see, there's a bulge there, and there's a bulge right there. Because when the hips are going inwards, after the tail, they got a bulge. Females, they don't have a bulge. They got a straight, narrow backside. But, I'm sorry, Stumpy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me give them one more, one more worm and I'll give them veggies later. There you go. Alright, one more for you, Chevy. He is. He goes to the choo choo Come on. There we go. <laughs> Good boy. He's got his arm up and he's like, oh, I'm gonna chill. <laughs> oh, baby boy. I love you. Okay. I'm gonna put those away for tomorrow. I'm nearly out anyway. So I need to get some crickets soon. They have not, uh, the pet store has not given me notification when they have crickets or not. So that's a guess. Come on, big boy. Come on. Move out of the way. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. I love you. I love you. Come on. You want the bush back, I know. There you go. Yeah, my. He's my older boy. Always oh, being a good boy, eh? They got clean water. They had food. They had fruit yesterday, and that's good. 
Shave him on otherwise he's been born hand raised. And that's why he's so chilled. And you give him tummy rubs, chest rubs, chin rubs. And he's always climbing on my hand all the time. Stumpy, he, he he's always doing that. So that is really good. I fed them right now. So that is really good start. Oh no, it was. So yeah. But the possum video from last night, absolutely damn perfect. Because I got all the possums in one shot climbing the tree. So that's a good thing. So right now, I'm going to make myself another coffee or something like that. Um, but now it's all good. I'm fine. So, yeah. But right now, those two had a feed. I got to give them some um, fruit and veggies later today so they can have a balanced diet set meat all the time like mealyworms and crickets gotta give them some greens and veggies uh, or greens and fruit anyway so I'll see you guys later well at least since I'm going to town and yeah yeah my beer drinkers on that was they've been happy so yeah so right now I gotta go to town and I'll see you guys when I get back till then yeah, you know, I'm gonna have a good morning, so I'll see you guys when I get back. I'll turn that on. Alright, ladies and gents, I found a perfect bolt for it, and now my brother's fixed ready for this Saturday and Sunday. It's a Christmas party. Damn, I can smell something bad. Damn! <laughs> That's one big snowball. <laughs> Why are you boys and don't? <laughs> All right, it's clean G right now. Great. <laughs> my fun, my fun bit. And believe me, tying on and all the other reptile handlers, except Ken Cannon. Ken Cannon has lizards and turtles, so he's okay. Uh, oh, ladies and I gotta do, I gotta do something. Yes.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. That stinks. <laughs> I came back in here. I was bringing the garbage bag out. Sorry about that. But, phew, yay, yay. Boys, what the hell? You stink. <laughs> I love you, boys. I love both of you. You still are cheeky little shits, but I love you both. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of mulch on there. Get the scoop off. Okay. Now, right now, my friend wants to, uh, wants me to go on the group chat, and I just got on, so I am not going on it till I am done. I don't rush into things. I take my time. Yeah, what I say about Camp Ken, he's okay. He's got little uh, lizards and turtles and pythons, non-venomous, so not that bad. Um, Tyanon and Chantler, they have venomous snakes and I don't like it, <laughs> but they are not bad. Now, let me show you guys, after I, after I close this cabinet, now that's clean, put a little bit of substrate to dry that up. All right, plus when I get my own place, these two are going to get big enclosures, so that's not bad. Now, let me show you guys. I fixed my bow with the right um, screw. It's an Allen key, but the guys, uh, the guy at um, Bunnings Warehouse, voila, it's all fixed. But it's a little bit longer. There we go, but it fits perfectly and it goes past the gap nicely, no issues at all. So my bow, I need to replace the main strings soon, here the front strings, but that will be coming soon after it wears out a little bit more than I replaced them both. But no rush. Now this Saturday and Sunday is the Christmas party and I am definitely ready to go. And the Christmas party is this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, uh, I won't be bringing anything because they already got it sorted and stuff. I won't be eating anything because sometimes I don't feel like to eat while I'm shooting because it makes me unconcentrated. I'm getting used to buckling things with my fingers. <laughs> Get on there. Yeah, we gotta go. These two blue arrows, I'm gonna shoot them randomly over the field so they won't be found anymore because they are really too short. So, Tomorrow afternoon, this bow will be going back into my car and back to shooting. Now, I fixed the carpet earlier in the morning. I'll lift up the fridge, the carpet's back in the underneath the whole thing, and sword. Now, I don't feel like to talk to my friends right now because I got things to do, you know? When you got things to do, you just don't have time. And family is more important because I don't have Core G anymore because I actually uninstalled both games. So, yeah. I'm not going on. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, my boys will have a girlfriend after I updated my license again. Then I'll bring the other big tank in the garage 
in the cabinet in here, well, in the dining room. Fuck sake, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so, I'll bring the other tank in the dining room, set everything up, clean everything out, put fresh stuff in, and if I get a female for one of the males, the female's tank, the substrate will go about here, underneath the line, about two or three meters about here. But the water is going to be right here. It's going to be like, it's going to be like that, and then slope all the way down to equal to here. So she's got a digging nest right here. So wherever she's burying the eggs, I can actually find the eggs, use the incubator in the cabinet, and then I got babies. But first things first, I needed to upgrade my, uh, update my license and um, do everything else. Phew. Oh well, I'm gonna be so much happy. Sherry, stop digging the mat. You done that this morning, don't do it again. You cheeky little boy. Okay, stop being a smart ass. I see you, Mr. Blister. You're not invisible, you're not a chameleon. Chevy's a cheeky, cheeky boy today. So right now, I'm gonna have a drink and I'm going to just relax, do another episode of Red Dead. Then after lunch, we go for a drive on the track, see the valley, maybe see a bear drain on the way. I want to pick it up wild and just feel its nature. It just, I love bear dragons. They are more calm and relaxed reptile than snakes. I'm not, I'm not a snake person. Snakes are not my really good thing to hold. When I was at, what zoo was that? Um, reptile Zoo in Sydney. Um, yeah, Reptile Park. I went there, I packed, the, I packed one of the pythons. I started to shake and I, I really don't like snakes. So, yeah. So after lunch, let's go for a drive and if we see a bit of dragon on the road, let's slow down, put the hazard lights on, pick it up, and put, yeah, yeah it'll put it on in the tree where it's more safer and more secured than on the road. I already hit one bit of dragon and I feel a lot upset in the heart why I did because the beer dragon was in the wrong spot and I feel a lot hurt of hurting that beer dragon it was my fault and I feel upset when it died I, I felt crying and stuff I don't want to do that again <laughs> Wherever I heard that beer drank, I was started crying in the car. It's just, it's hard to shake off, and it just really hurts me. But that beer drank, I prayed for it to go up in heaven and reborn. I love nature, but when I hurt nature, it I blame myself for it. But yeah. Luckily I did the right thing, I put it in the bush, I pray for it to reborn and... Man, I'm starting to cry right now. <laughs> it's... Oh, fuck. So right now, I still got my two boys. They need a girlfriend. That's why Chevy's attacking his own reflection. He thinks there's another male in the tank. He's going after that. So, yeah, he definitely needs a female. He definitely needs a female. So both boys need a female each. So when I get my own place, they'll get their females and actually do all that.
<laughs> Arthur's sleeping. Jeez, man. Oh, well. I'll see you guys on the side of the track later when I finish my lunch. And let's go on the track, have some fun. Maybe if we find a bearded dragon that is wild, let's pick it up and put it in the bush. I love reptiles like bearded dragons, gwenas, desert dragons. Oh, I love all those lizards right now. So, I'll see you guys later. Till then, I'll see you guys on the side of the track after lunch. Alright ladies and gents, I'm on the side of archery. This Saturday and Sunday is the Christmas party. I'm going. Got my bow fixed. I just need to put the little nut on the bolt with Loctite and then that bow will be fixed. But the thing is, I need to replace the two back strings soon. They start unfrayed a little bit. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time. I done three more episodes of Red Dead Redemption number two. I got people loving it for hours. And I got a whole lot of numbers on Red Dead. But if you guys on my gaming channel love my real, real event channel and my gaming channel, subscribe both of them and keep me on your list for many years because I'll still have more exciting things to do while I'm here um, but soon when I get my own place I gotta make a new intro for my videos on my real event ch channel so yeah so right now let's go for a drive and see what's new on the track hopefully there's no fucking cops on the track because that is the pain in the ass that we don't like. So, yeah, that's the thing. So right now, let's go for a drive and enjoy our time on the track anyway. So my, my real event channel will be active for many years because how many people watch my videos each day on my real real event channel is absolutely great but you guys watch my real event channel enjoy it but if you gamers on my gaming channel love my gaming channel anyway stay on that but if you love both subscribe both and you get videos each day. And well, my real event channel goes one video a day. My gaming channel, three videos a day. So that's good. So right now, let's go for a drive. All right. We are turning right. Let's go. That's the gears changing, so that's good. Oh, so much happiness. Okay. Right here. Hopefully there's not a bit of dragons on the road. I don't like to hit them again because it makes me upset. Um, hopefully I don't hit any. Okay. It looks like there's no reptiles on the road, so that's good. I'm looking left and right, no reptiles, but up on top of the moon, there must be. Just, I'm scanning the whole area, bit by bit. So 
right now it is starting to get hot. It's about 36 degrees today. That's what my car says. 36 degrees. That is beautiful. But I'm sweating my guts out. <laughs> but that's a good feeling. Okay, what we got? There's nothing on the road, so that's good on this bit. Sometimes the reptiles are on the road, they'll be on top. So, just be aware, there's reptiles on the road, let's stop and help them, help them to the um, bush, anyway. I got a human up here. Okay. Go slow, go about 40, scan the whole area. There's no reptiles on the road here, so there's nothing, so that's good. Man, it's really high out here. But luckily, I drank a lot of wood before I came here. I'm fine. But soon when I get home, I gotta whiz a whole lot. <laughs> I drank about two big full bottles and a um, Red Bull. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna whiz a whole lot. What are they doing? Flying out the sand. So I'm gonna stop here for a little bit. Let's let's have a look of the valley and just keep going. So Let's have a look. Just let my car run a little bit. Yeah, the valley's all green. No dryness in sight. Yeah, we got rain coming up, but look at that big pole cloud there. Yeah, it's fucking warm up here. I'm checking my temperature gauge, it's 36. There's nothing going on. Yeah, nothing going on. My car is running quite uh, silently right here. So, yeah, it's all good. All right. Oh, that's in quite nicely. All right. Let's. Continue the drive and let's go. Sometimes there's a cop around this corner and sometimes it is not, but yeah. But the valley's all green. Wow. 
But yeah, I'm trying to help my family to get to their dream home. And I'm trying. Trying to find work for my engineering. It's got to be a little bit hard, but I'll get, I'll get to it eventually. Now hopefully there's no cops around because right here, this is where I got pulled over by the cop from Sydney. It uh, took my six points away. Hopefully he's not here today. No, he's not. That's good. Where are you? Let's continue. I'm doing 50. It says 60, but 50 is a safe speed. So that's a good thing. I don't want to be caught by cops on this truck again. <laughs> the Sydney cop? He had some bad fucking attitude I hate. I was speaking politely to him. Do not speak politely back. So... Yeah, he's not going to come back to this truck anymore. Fucking bust. But, on the 23rd of this month, I'm going to get my six points back. And that's a good thing. Because nothing is going to go wrong. So, that is a good thing. Wow, they done the lawn as well. Wow. Man, the council actually done the lawn across here look at how neat it is they done the edging of the road they done the whole thing you can actually see the tire tracks in the sand <laughs> fuck yeah that, that's gotta be funny as all fuck it's just like who's been crashing into the sand ah blame the council <laughs> Yeah, drag racing with tractors <laughs> or lawnmowers. Did you know lawnmowers can go about 30 kilometers an hour? That's a true fact. All right, and that is that is true. Tractors can go about 30 kilometers an hour without equipment on them, and actually. It, they they are pretty fast for a tractor. So, yeah. So right now, I am going to park here off the track but near the white tires you can see so I'm gonna go park in here and just stop here so I'm gonna do it right here and just rest a little bit ah so that was absolutely fun but if you go on this track racing don't go hooning around like that because sometimes there's cops around that corner where it's a driveway that goes like that there's a copper just on the corner on an angle that you can't see behind the bushes and that's the thing they hide behind bushes so they can't even be seen. So that's the only thing I'm warning you guys about. Cops today, they are rude. But the cop that pulled me over near the fuel station that took the one point off me, um, they are actually, he's actually cool. Um, but yeah, if 
fucking P player that went past me, he was not doing 60, he was doing about 65. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to work with my parents soon. Got to make milkshakes. So I'll see you guys back at the Dragon's Den Till and I'll see you guys back there. Well ladies and gents, is the end of the video. It's about 15.20, 15.21 in the afternoon. That is 3.21 as correct. So today, I had a beautiful, beautiful day. Making you guys happy on, uh, on Red Dead number two. It is absolutely a fun game to play, literally. I don't, I don't mark it zero to 100. I make it about 200 out of 100 because it is, it is fun to play. But if you guys are on my gaming channel, please re-watch episode 1 to episode 10, what I made today, and enjoy it. So I hope, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So right now, um, my bear dragon's on that ways. Let me get Chevy out for you guys. He has not been hugged for the whole morning or the whole afternoon. So, yeah. Big boy. Hey, 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 hey. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, 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 hey. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing, you big boy? Come here, come here, come here. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know what is up his problem. He does not want a hug. Oh, baby boy, I love you. So right now, um, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, ladies and gents. It is. Oh, that's why you came to me. You got a sticky eyes, don't you? Don't you? Hey, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Hey, 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 hey. Did not get it. There we go. Man, you got a hollow dirty eye. Didn't you? There we go. Hey, what's that better? Hey, hey. Hello, see, see, hey. Don't you flare the bear a bit at me. Hey, I just helped my son. Okay? I know you. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Okay, okay. Settle. Settle. What the hell is your problem? Love you. Come on. Fine, don't hug that then. Bossy. Windy little boy. Handsome little fella. Hey, Stump. See? When you see two lumps on the side of the tail, like curvy on the side of the tail, like that. Both of them are boys, so... Yeah, I need to get two females for my boys anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys loved it. So if you guys really like Red Dead number two, I'll do more episodes for you guys. Till then, I only got up to episode 10 today, so that's good. Yeah, about, let me say, I done three, uh, three yesterday and three the day before, so six and I've done three today so <sighs> that's good so on Saturday is the Christmas party and that's gotta be good so I'll see you guys next time till then my bow is fixed and that is good so I'll see you guys next time till then I'll see you guys tomorrow before I do anything else and please enjoy Red Dead and my reptiles will see you guys as well because they are happy to see you guys too anyway 
So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, peace for now. Ha ha ha.